today we're going to explore what Australian culture looks like by sharing some of the things that we've brought in from home that represent our own culture and our own identities. Aidan, would you like to go first? I am a proud Gabigal man from the Darug Nation. That's the very land we are standing on. My totem animal is a lizard. My mom had me handcrafted this yiddiki, or a didgeridoo. My mob actually has a few totems. Black crested cockatoo, lizard, fox and a goanna. Women can't touch the yidaki. It's a men's instrument. Women who touch it or try to play it may be cursed. I am a generation from the stolen generation. Thank you, Aiden. The thing I bought today is the souvenir I bought from Pakistan last time I went there. It's an auto rickshaw. Um, do you know how in Australia we have Ubers? Over there, um, these Pakistan's not that rich. Uh, they, we don't have Ubers, we have something called auto rickshaws. The thing that's unique about them is that they have three wheels and the shape of it is very unique. What I brought today is a book about Nelson Mandela. He was the first black president of South Africa. Before he became president, there was all this type of racism and this stuff called a parhate, where um, there were like white people sections and black people sections. Like the black people would have their own type of parks and the white people would have their own type of parks. But now um, they all changed that in the law so anyone can go anywhere. Thank you, it's a bit of a history lesson. I like that one, Amal. I am Stacy, and I brought Vegemite because I'm from Australia and I've known Vegemite since I was born or like when I first tasted it and it's been like around um, for my family and they all like it. Why do you think this is so important to your family? Um, because it's like something you can eat and um, it's very cool, I guess. I brought this um, sari. So saris are like a traditional clothing in South Asia and um, they come in different forms. The one I bought today is a silk shari and it's called a Rajsha sar, um, silk shari in Bangladesh because it's a premium silk that's only made in Bangladesh and it comes from an area called Rajsha. How long is the sari? I have no idea. It's like, I think it's around five metres-ish. I don't know, that's what my mum told me. It's between five and seven metres long. Where do you wear these? Um, you, you can either wear them, we usually wear them, my mum usually wears these to parties or like traditional like um, gatherings or maybe like if we have like, we have different festivals and sometimes when we go to those different festivals, my mum might wear one of these. I brought um, a mini statue of a dodo. It's, um, it's the, th um, the national bird of um, Mauritius because it only comes from there and it's currently extinct. Well, it means it doesn't exist anymore. There's no more left of it on the planet. But it's still like the national symbol, symbol, symbol of Mauritius. In Australia, we have lovely native flowers. So we, this the red one here is the bottle brush and this big one here is the banksia. And um, my family likes to go bushwalking a lot. So we see lots of the native flowers all the time. And there's like many more. So like in the Royal National Park, I've also seen like um, the Waratahs. They, um, they're well known for New South Wales, I think. I'm pretty sure the Waratahs, like the New South Wales rugby team flower, like their symbol. So it can be on uniforms and other things to represent Australia? Yeah. Thank you, Bear. Um, what I'm holding today is a 12-year-old statue of a woman wearing a cone hat. It's, um, it's mostly called an Asian conical hat. I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm half Filipino, half Australian. This is called a baron. It, it is a lightweight embroidered shirt for men, one untucked and traditionally made for made of a, a vegetable fiber um, it's usually made to celebrate special occasions we don't wear it in australia we just wear it in the philippines why don't you wear it in australia i don't know my parents haven't told me yet this is a um pattern it's a bag from um croatia what they put in it 
is like herbs and vegetables and stuff. It is a special pattern for um, that one place in Croatia. And is that yours or is that mum's? It's my mum's. My mum's. Patrick, I really want you to share what you have because I'm so curious. Do you want to come up? This is a thing called a billy can, which is used to, to, um, for camping in Australia. They would use this back then to boil water in, so they'd pour water in and they'd boil it on a campfire. Uh, I honestly don't, um, this isn't really mine. Um, I don't know if my mum has recently bought it or if it's maybe from my dad's side. Um, I think it might be my grandpa's from my dad's side or my dad's, uh, and that's really it. So which culture does this Billy Ken represent? Um, it represents an Australian culture because, um, because it was used um, in camping around Australia and that's how they would boil water.